Bethany Maddox Sands here in Phoenix, Arizona with the Tennis Warehouse team, play testing a few shoes. If you haven't checked out my videos in the past, go do it now. You know how picky I am with my shoes. After a lot of testing, I've finally landed and it's official on the new Adidas Barricade. I'm coming from the beloved Ubersonic, which I played in for years and years. I actually stockpiled that in my closet, came down to my last pair, had to make a change. The new Ubersonics were a no-go for me, super uncomfortable right here on the toe. That's a big no-no for me. That was the, that's probably the biggest concern when I play test shoes is how does it feel right here when I bend. So I had to test out some new shoes. Lo still love the Adidas shape and fit. Went with the barricade. It's a little bit stiffer, but loved it. Maybe only a practice or two to break it in a little bit. Whereas the Ubersonic, I could pretty much lace up a new pair of shoes and go play a match. This one requires a little bit of break in, but really not too bad. Just a practice and I'm good to go. They last a lot longer. I will give them credit. So if you're one of those players that's tough on your shoes, the barricade is for you. So the biggest change I made in play testing my shoes this time around was upping my size. I was a nine and a half in my Ubersonics, nine and a half in the barricades initially. And I just thought about over my career, I've had a lot of foot issues. I've had turf toe, I've broken the sesamoid on the bottom of my foot, I've had ankle sprains. So in my training, I actually started to do something about that. I started training barefoot and strengthening my toes, my feet, my arches, and it made a massive difference in my shoe. I had to not only up a half size, but a full size. <laughs> so now I am wearing a 10 and a half in the barricades. I know that sounds crazy. I'm only five foot six, but it really makes a big difference. I wear double layers of socks because I used to get a lot of blisters. And to be fair, going up the sizes helped a lot of my blister issues too. There's a part of athletes and tennis players that like the snugness of tight feels. It, it, it really gives you the feeling that you have a lot of support and you can really feel the court. But ultimately giving your foot space and working on your foot strength is even more powerful and better for your game. So that is the biggest change I've made in the last couple months is upping my size of my shoe. If you're not sure if you're wearing your shoes too snug, just order a half size bigger and give it a test run. Usually when I'm going on a trip for four to six weeks, so I got three or four or five tournaments going, I'll travel with four pairs of shoes. Now, I have an interesting lineup. I'll start off with a practice shoe. I'll have a pretty brand new pair of match shoes. Once I play a couple weeks, maybe even one week if I'm playing singles and doubles in the match shoes, they get relegated as practice shoes for the next week. Now when I'm going somewhere humid, like Australia, Miami, I'll have two match shoes in rotation because you will sweat through those in a three hour match. So generally, I think my shoes can last a few weeks. I'm not a player that slides a lot on hard courts, so I generally don't wear through this area of the shoe. But um, the bar again, the barricades last a lot longer than most shoes I've tried. So the final rundown on why I love the barricades. They offer a lot of room up in the toe box. They're stable, they offer a lot of support, minimal break-in, and they last a long time. So go get yours on tenniswarehouse.com.